ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई वर्ल्ड ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू द ध्यान वृक्षा मेडिटेशन ट्री वॉज प्लांटेड बाय पूर्ण ब्रह्मा स्वामी सो दैट द डिवोट इज कुड एटेन पूर्ण अवस्था the state of perfection along with this he also planted the seed of the gnana vriksha tree of knowledge today this has grown into a huge tree through value education great emphasis is laid on the development of character in students who are also accomplished in various types of knowledge and skills these educational institutes impart not only the knowledge related to padartha the material world but also parartha spirituality swami constantly guides the students so that in the just gaining knowledge about the material world they gain all round knowledge and beam it to the rest of the world swami is especially particular about those serving in the medical institutes that they perform their duties to the best of their ability the ever increasing number of patients who come for treatment at the super special hospital are a proof of this but every year on 11 january the sports day celebrated in puttaparthi is the best example of the expertise in physical skills the students have perfected the convocation ceremony held on 22nd november every year reflects upon the academic all round achievements of the students all this has been made possible only because the knowledge imparted here is not for mere living but for life this kind of perfection in skills and knowledge is not just achieved by students through the sri satyasai institutes but even devotees who have been recipients of bhagwan Baba's grace are known to have attained it. Scientists, doctors, economists, lawyers, educationists, artists, and sportsmen are all included in this. To cite an example, the world-famous vocalist Begum Parveen Sultana says, "All the credit." for my presentation on stage goes to swami is only by his grace that i am able to sing so well he taught me how to present my talent on stage and guided me even better than my own parents another recipient of swami's grace is the world famous cricketer Mr Sunil Gavaskar Sunil is well known for several world records and a sound batting technique once he was asked can you narrate any one incident where you achieved success due to swami's grace pat came the reply if swami were not with me i would not have been able to score a single run I have no doubt about this. Whenever a devotee suffers a calamity, God rushes to his rescue. Wherever he may be, the Lord keeps a close watch on him. Whatever calamities a devotee may have to suffer due to his own past karma, God gives him the strength to overcome them. the lord god steers 
the devotee out of the adverse conditions and leads him to safety. Some years ago, with Swami's permission, a few devotees started the Sri Sai Ram Center in London. Some of the residents who were not devotees were very impressed by the work done through this center. A few spiritual organizations and churches also expressed keen interest to know more about the work and lectures were organized in different venues to this effect. According to Dr. Gardia, an ardent devotee of Swami started visiting these venues to give information about Bhagwan Baba, his life, the mission and experiences of devotees. The lectures drew crowds consisting of many eager and studious people. One such program was organized by a church and Dr. Gardia was walking out after his lecture, a British lady came up to him and said, My husband wishes to see you. Will you please come and meet him? The doctor happily gave his consent and both of them went to meet the gentleman in question. On seeing Dr. Gardia, the lady's husband was very happy. He said, Doctor, you are my brother in my past life. You are one in the present life and you will be my brother in future life too. Do you agree with this? On hearing this, Dr. Gadia replied, You are hundred percent right. If we go backward through our lineage, we realize that ultimately we are all children of Adam and Eve, or children of one God, G generator, O operator, D destroyer. In that sense, we are all brothers. The gentleman was ecstatic with Gaia's reply, choked with emotion. He had Dr. Gaia warmly. The doctor too responded to his love with a tight hug and suddenly something terrible happened. The man began to feel uneasy and started gasping for breath. He squealed, My pacemaker is broken. Call for an ambulance. Hurry up. Soon his face started turning blue. By now, Dr. Garia was petrified. He did not know the gentleman's heart was working with the help of pacemaker. This was a big calamity. He knew right away that only the Apannivarine Swami could rescue them. So he invoked Swami with all his heart and clearly heard his words from within. Put Vibhuti in the mouth and draw an Om with Vibhuti on his heart. That was Gardia instantly obeyed Swami's directive and put a pinch of Vibhuti in the patient's mouth and also drew an Om with Vibhuti in the heart region with his fingers. Within minutes, the patient miraculously recovered. His heart started beating normally and that too without a pacemaker. The color of his face returned to normal and he shouted, Sai Baba has restarted my heart. I had only heard about his glory. Today I have experienced it. Needless to say that this person is now an ardent devotee of Swami. As for Dr. Gardia, he was greatly relieved and thanked the Baba again and again for having rescued both of them from a calamity. Wonderful, wonderful. As a result of their past karma, 
when devotees undergo physical or mental agony, God destroys their sorrow and ultimately leads them to happiness. Bhagavad Baba constantly ensures that his devotees do not suffer. The Raya Sima region being a drought-stricken area, the people there had to undergo the physical strain of walking miles in order to get drinking water daily. Naturally, they were in misery. To free them from their plight, Swami started the Sri Satyasai drinking water project and quenched their thirst. This was just the first step. To free the people of Chennai from the physical and mental agony caused due to the acute shortage of drinking water, Swami started another mammoth water project there. Many such water projects are taking shape in different parts of the country and lakhs of people are now grateful to Sai Mata. To free the underprivileged of this country from physical and mental agony, the Universal Mother started the Isarama Mahila Welfare Project on 19th November 2004. In the following year, it came to be called Isarama Mahila Welfare Trust. This trust undertakes health projects for all the needy and underprivileged women and children. Another project named Isarama Self Help Plan was launched to help the deprived women to stand on their own feet. Through all these projects, the distressed and the needy women have been rescued from their misery. The following story tells us about how Swami freed a person from his mental agony. On 31st March 1973, Bhagwan Baba paid a visit to a college in Rajkot. From there, he left for the Jamnagar Palace. A motorcade following him. The Rajmata was also traveling in one of the cars. Swami's car stopped. Swami's car stopped at the main entrance of the palace. As he got out of the car and started walking ahead, something untoward happened. An Arab by the name Sheikh, who was a security guard, came forward and said to Swami, Babaji, remove your footwear. Swami smiled at him, removed his slippers and walked on. It was a hot afternoon and Swami walked bare feet with the members of the welcome committee to accept the God of honor. When Raj Mata got off from her car, he heard about this incident. A towel and holding his slippers in her hands, she hurriedly ran towards Swami. But by then, he had already gone ahead, walking bare feet on the hot sands to accept the God of honor. Generally, Swami never wears footwear on his divine lotus feet. But since the weather conditions in this area were severely hot, someone had requested him to do so. When Baba returned to the palace, he saw the Rajmata scolding Sheikh to harsh words. Sheikh sorrowfully hung his head down with tears in his eyes as soon he saw Baba. He came forward to apologize. At that time, Swami said to Rajmata, it is not his fault. He had asked him to ensure that everyone removes their footwear. You did not tell him that I should be excluded. In fact, I appreciate his honesty and sense of 
Juji, saying this, Swami lovingly patted Sheikh on his back. The next moment, he materialized a greenish-gray talisman about one inch in size. It has the letters from the Holy Quran inscribed on it. Swami gave the talisman to Sheikh, and in a moment, his mental agony was changed into joy. May we all be freed from our mental and physical sorrow through Swami's grace. This is our heartfelt prayer at His divine lotus feet. Sairam meet later.